Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I thought before I was gonna be able to finish the Medusa on one video. Seems like that is too long, so I had to break it in half. Um, so this is uh, probably the final video now uh, for this uh, series, uh, for this Ninja Platform game. Um, so before we start, please uh, like, share, subscribe to our channel. And if you know anybody who would like to work with uh, uh, kids coding, uh, please pass our channel to them. Uh, we'll probably introduce more uh, different kind of coding later on. But for, for right now, we're using uh, mostly Scratch. Uh, later, we'll probably look into other languages such as Python and other uh, maybe Game Maker Studio too, and other kind of language uh, to do the uh, programming. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, we'll to hurry up and finish it. I think uh, taking a long time in the video. Let's try to get it done quickly. Uh, so the Medusa can get hit, right? So we have to have that. Okay, so um, we have to uh, put more code for that. So what we're going to say is this. Uh, because I got hit, right? So I have to make this uh, knife disappear also. Um, but uh, let's finish the Medusa first. Let's say... Um, go back over here, event, here we will say, um, oops, got the wrong one, got hit, okay, if the Medusa got hit, I will change the uh, Medusa HP by 1, uh, Medusa HP by one by negative one sorry negative one and then with the check and with the check if the Medusa HP is equal to zero so that means you know Medusa is dead want to put in a sound maybe uh, search for like a screaming, screaming sound so this is pretty good we'll use that so uh, if it gets to the end you know we'll make her just kind of scream I'm not sure you can see this let me zoom back in a little bit okay and we will switch to custom so we'll switch the custom to uh def number four or uh, number one or whatever doesn't matter and then uh we'll wait uh we'll wait for a point zero point five second and then we'll switch to def number two Mm. So let's check out our custom depth number one and two, how they look. Uh, so depth number one, number two. Okay, that's how they look. Okay, let's go back. And then um, we'll have to, um, so if it's dead, then we'll just say, say that else. Oh, I forgot. I need to use else if it, if and else. Actually, let's change this out. Okay. Else will set the uh, the ver uh, this variable back. I will set the uh, custom. Back to one, and then we'll say um, okay. This is actually wrong. Sorry, sorry. So we don't want her not zero. So this is when it's actually greater than zero, meaning that she's not exactly dead yet. But, you know, she uh, she just uh, got hit. So we're trying to make her like like ouch kind of sound. But um, that's not when she's when she's 
when she's greater than zero. So if it, if she's she's not dead yet, we'll do this. But when she's dead, we'll actually do something else. Actually, so we'll we'll look at the uh, custom. So we have death here, right? So custom will be one, right? One, two, three. So we will we'll use the death. One, two, three. So we reset that to one. And we can switch the custom and we'll repeat uh, six times. I think we have six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Okay, so we'll repeat six times. Okay, get the loop here. We'll say six. And then we'll change the custom. Uh, before that, we have to actually make the ghost effect. So we, when when we kill the Medusa, we don't do that. Um, also, we don't want the actually the ninja getting hit by the Medusa. Actually, even though she's dead, but she's not totally dead yet, and you can still get hit. So what we can do is, uh, I'll, I'll show you how what I mean later. Okay, let me put in the code first. Okay, um, go to look. We'll do a change ghost effect by 10. So kind of like kind of slowly the Medusa fade away. So we want to do that. Then we will put in here saying the uh, switching the custom. We'll use the join operator again. So we have something called death, right? Just make sure I have a spell correctly. Let's just check. Yeah, death. Okay. And then we will use the index of the custom here. Okay. And then we'll increase the custom count here. Okay. All right. And then we'll play when actually when she's totally dead, we probably have another sound. Let's use this magic. I think that sounds good. So like, so when she's dead, we'll play that sound. Like you kind of get a point or something. Okay, so we'll say start. Okay. We'll say uh, play the sound. Start magic sound, and then we will we'll hide this Medusa here. And then we will broadcast a message. What we're going to do is we're going to broadcast this um, message to let the uh, uh, Medusa start again. So we'll say uh, Medusa start again. Okay, so this is our message. So when I receive to the start again uh, what you can do is you can like uh, kind of wait have a wait condition here you can use a random like maybe three to five seconds doesn't matter or ten doesn't matter like kind of wait for some time and then you can call this block again so now we're almost done right so we'll add the code for the for this right and we'll set, or add the code for the ninja as well so okay um so when the ninja i mean the the medusa get hit you get this broadcast here um what we can do is go back here uh we'll add uh, some code here saying uh, if I receive got hit, basically got it hit the Medusa, I will just hide this uh, this knife so that it doesn't keep on traveling to the end, right? And also uh, in the ninja here, uh, down in the water, right? So uh, what we also need is uh, the check for the Medusa if it hit by the it got hit by the Medusa or something. So let's move this up a little bit. Uh, we'll add in another if condition. 
think I might have to drag this out. If not, it'll, it'll get messy. Okay, so here we will say, um, so we actually have to check the Medusa health. I'll show you what I mean later. So I'll show you this first. I think, um, so if I just say uh, touching, right? If I say, say this, if I say touching uh, Medusa, then I can say broadcast death, right? Like this, right? But it will not be good. Um, I'll show you uh, why I mean that. Okay, let's let's start this. Let's just try. So, okay, I was having some issue earlier. My uh, ninja gets stuck when I put the Medusa in. Uh, I think I found out what the issue was. Um, the issue is that the ninja here. Sometimes, if you have uh, more than one of these um, custom block inside of the uh, when start with the forever loop it has some problem i have seen that in the past so i broke this up this one used to be like a forever loop with the two um, simulated gravity and run control inside i have to break this up into like two different ones that actually fixed it, the issue and then when you have too many forever loop going in this thing is getting messed up and it's not triggering the uh, custom block so I have to break this up into a separate uh, when green flag is clicked. Now it's working fine. Uh, let me just take out some of the variable now. So if you actually have any problem with your code, right, you always want to open up the uh, variable and just kind of go through uh, what they are. So that way you can actually see you know, if things are not working or working, whatever it is. Okay. So um, let's take a look again. So we have the uh, Medusa uh, left and right. Basically, he's trying to like find out uh, when the Medusa is here, find out how far he can walk to the left or, or left or how far he can walk to the right before he turns around. So we, that's why this code is there. This uh, minus um, 70 and plus 70. Okay. All right. So the Medusa has three HP. So um, what we're going to do is uh, the ninja we will add in the uh, when the Medusa touch the ninja um, right here so we'll put it inside here so um, i show you something is, uh, we need to change this condition actually so let me just save this, let's run this so as you can see the Medusa is walking right so if you attack her, she has 1 HP right so um, we can jump up oh, then we hit her with we'll die so one more thing, like if we use the knife, we hit her, you see how she's uh, laying down on the ground, the ghost effect, but we still got hit and got uh, got killed by her when we, when we uh, walk past her. So you see that, that's not good, right? So what we can do is we can fix this condition here. So um, instead of touching Medusa, we are going to say uh, touching Medusa and HP is greater than zero. Okay. So we have two condition here, and the Medusa HP is greater than zero. Move this over a little bit. So basically, if her HP is zero, then you know we we cannot we cannot get attacked by her. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Let's stop the the thing. Okay, as you can see, I can kind of jump up and attack her. So this time, if I kill her, so you see, I walk through will not be a problem because I have that code, right? So only if her HP is greater than zero, then I can get attacked by her. So and then we see that after two, three to five seconds, she can appear again. That we can change it here, uh, depending on uh, how long you want to wait. Uh, you can change the condition here. All right. So let's try to finish this. Oh. So we'll go into the portal. So you see, okay, that's some. There's still some error there. 
um, the Medusa did not go into effect of it's fading but it's not um, going down right so okay so we have the issue with the Medusa after getting hit is still kind of moving so what we need to do is um, we're gonna use this block here saying stop out of script in the sprite so we have to put it before this so we'll stop this guy because this guy is controlling the Medusa moving so we want to stop this and then we'll make the death animation and then we'll start again so this will help and also we can reduce the Medusa speed uh, maybe to 3 uh, I think she's moving way too fast let's give it a try now so she's a little slower so let's, let's um, let me put the sound back I think I just muted my uh, my sound here so um, Let's go back over here. So if I go up, I got hit by her. So you see, she's she's no longer um when she fade out, she should not be moving again. So she's she see she doesn't move again, and we can walk past her, no problem. Okay, so I think that fixed the that issue. So let's try this. We'll get the gym. We'll go to the portal. So Medusa is going here. And we we'll take her out. And we got the gym. Oh by the way, she's gonna come on right now. Yeah. So I mean you can do like 10 uh, between 3 to 10 seconds or something like that, or 5 to 10, maybe a little bit better. Uh, so that she don't come back so quickly. Right. So uh, let's save this. So let's go on to the next stage, and that's our final stage. So we landed here. So this final stage is here. So let me hide this variable, um, Medusa variable, um, custom and the health. Okay, let's test the game from the beginning. You can keep the like uh, when the ninja uh, when when the ninja die, you can actually like you know make make different things like uh, after the portal open, you can say stop the Medusa from coming out again. You can do a lot of different things if you like, and also you can put a little way after the ninja die, right? When it respawns, there you can put a little way there as well. So we can go into the portal and you win. So that's kind of about it with this ninja platform game. I mean, if I have time later, maybe I can try to fix some of the uh, issue with the uh, with this uh, green uh, platform here um, later uh, because you know sometimes you can get stuck in between of these two platform. And if we hit put the hit box, then sometimes you cannot get onto it and it kind of fall off. So it's a little buggy on this sorry about that so uh that's about it for the uh, ninja platformer game just hope you guys understand um, just this is just a simple uh, showing how you do like platform uh, from one stage to the next stage and having some uh the ninja different costume attack throwing uh, the knife out and stuff like that okay all right thank you